They came with flowers and children's books, a perfect way to honor their fellow dog walker. To these people, Barbara Bush was not just a first lady, but a regular person too, who loved her dogs and walked Gooch's Beach every morning at 8.30. As she told me once, she knew more of the, of the dogs by name than the people by name. Bob Dennis was Barbara's friend and captured this photo for his book, Gooch's Pooches. There's Barbara front and center with her two dogs, B.B. and Minnie-Me. To her dogs represent the love and hopefully the dogs on the beach today is one way of representing our love to Barbara. We all miss her very much. They gathered in a large circle near the ocean, exchanging Barbara stories. Everybody has one. And then she broke out laughing and she said, what I'm really mad about is I have to wait until he's finished so that I can read it. <laughs> Carolyn Hurd brought a flower, a book, and something else. And I just wrote a little note and I said, Mrs. Bush enjoyed speaking with the children here at Gooch's Beach. She was an advocate for them and it showed. She lit up whenever children would approach her. her. Her face just lit up. She will be missed, but she will always be here in spirit. Wearing her Barbara Bush pearls, Carolyn Markey lives near the beach and saw Mrs. Bush every day. And when she um, was a little more frail, she had a walker with big wheels so that she could still push on the beach. And that was just so nice, so nice. And she talked to everybody. She was just a real person, a genuine person, as was George. They signed a giant card that will be delivered to the Bush family, and all of these books will be donated to the Children's Hospital in her name. Some will go to the local libraries, so Mrs. Bush's passion will live on. Even some of the dogs were wearing pearls in honor of Mrs. Bush, and uh, everybody knew she did not want a big hubbub when she died. So a friend says she's probably looking down right now and smiling, saying that's the perfect way to remember me. In Kennebunk, Jim Keithley, WMUR News 9.